Far more than just the wife of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr., Coretta Scott King is remembered as an activist in her own right. Coretta Scott was born to Bernice and Obadiah Scott on April 27, 1927. She was raised on the family farm with her two siblings in Perry County, Alabama. From an early age, Coretta and her siblings were exposed to the inequalities of living in a segregated society. They were required to walk five miles to a one-room school for their elementary education. The nearest African-American high school was nine miles away. Her parents placed an emphasis on education and Coretta excelled greatly. She was a talented musician, playing the trumpet and the piano and singing in the choir. She was the valedictorian of her graduating class in 1945. After graduation, Coretta continued her education at Antioch College in Ohio, where she earned a bachelor's degree in music. She later attended Boston's New England Conservatory of Music, where she studied voice and violin. During this time, she met a young man working towards his doctorate in theology at Boston University, Martin Luther King Jr. They later wed in 1953. In 1954, King accepted a position at Dexter Avenue Baptist Church and the couple moved to Montgomery, Alabama. Before long, the two were thrust into the middle of the Montgomery bus boycott. Martin would become the president of the Montgomery Improvement Association and the head of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. As he gained international attention, Coretta balanced raising four children in her role in the movement. They traveled together whenever possible, and Coretta spoke on her husband's behalf on many occasions. She used her administrative and organizational skills to handle phone calls and incoming mail. Coretta was also politically active and vocal. In 1957, she was one of the founders of the Committee for a Sane Nuclear Policy. The reality of becoming the voice of the civil rights movement in the South and there was a threat of violence and terror against the King family. The Kings received death threats and their family home was bombed in 1956 while Coretta was home alone with their infant child. Despite the threats against her life, Coretta felt the events taking place in Montgomery would be the catalyst for change elsewhere. We were put there to be in the forefront of that struggle, she told the Academy of Achievement. And it wasn't just a struggle relegated to Montgomery, Alabama or the South, but it had worldwide implications. Following the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., Coretta upheld the vision Dr. King fought so long for. She would continue to expand her late husband's legacy with the creation of the King Center for Nonviolent Social Change. The center serves as a living memorial to Dr. King and his philosophy of nonviolence and social change. She would spend the rest of her life as an advocate for social change and equality in many communities. Coretta Scott King died January 30th, 2006 of complications from cancer. She was 78 years old. <laughs>